To share a network folder on your home internet connection on your Mac, first you need to navigate to System Preferences. From here, navigate to Sharing. And then from the File Sharing area, you want to select a few different options. The first thing you need to do is add a new shared folder, and then choose whatever folder you want to share. For example, if I wanted to share everything on my desktop to all of my computers in my home, then all I would need to do is click on Desktop, and then Add. Now here's my shared folder. What you want to do next is choose who can access this shared folder. If you just want yourself to have access to this, you need to set up the user on the other computer to have this exact same username, and then you need to change the area of what they can do to read and write. If you only have, want to have read access, then you can choose this. For example, this is good for viewing movies. Write only, the person can add files but not see what's in there. And read and write does the best of both worlds. So now, your shared folder is here, and then you want to make sure that you go into options to choose exactly how this is going to be shared. These are the different network options, SMB and AFP. AFP is a little bit older, but I would recommend just choosing both of them, and then your Mac on the other end will choose what the best connection is to connect to it. If you're using Windows file sharing, then you need to select this also. Then hit Done. This will turn file sharing on, and you can tell you can connect to this computer using these different IP addresses. Now to do this, on the other computer, what you need to do is connect to this shared folder. So to do that, when you're on your second computer at home, you need to go up to Go, Connect to Server, and then you need to type in the IP address of the computer that the shared folder needs to be accessed at. So it tells you that right here. So you can choose AFP or SMB. I would recommend using SMB, but either one should work perfectly fine. So you need to type that server address right here, and then click Connect, type in your username of which you selected here, and then also the password for that computer that you're accessing. Once you do that, you'll see the shared folder on your desktop, and then if you chose read and write, you'll be able to add folders, videos, photos, or whatever you want to that folder, and then it'll show up on both computers, and you've created a network drive in a shared folder with your Mac computer on your home network.